the cross of Jesus Christ revealed to us victory over Satan. See, when we go out to cast out devils, the reason we go with boldness is because we know that there was a legal transaction that took place and Satan is already defeated. That's why no matter how, see, those of you who cast out devils here, you know, sometimes you want to cast out demons from a, a sister that looks weak, that you think you can just squeeze and say, come on, get out. And then you'll see, what do you want? You will look again. Yes, the devil is trying to intimidate you. I am the prince of the sea. I will destroy her. Forget all those drama. He doesn't have the power anymore. The battle is over. He said, having spoiled principalities and powers. <laughs> he made a public show of them. Triumphing over them by the cross. So the, the reason we are not moved by any... Why do you think demons try to present a show? Is to intimidate you. You say in the name of Jesus, the person starts hitting his head on the ground. Hitting his head. You have not seen some rugged deliverance. Oh. When you say Jesus, the person will start hitting his head on the wall. Hitting the ground. He will stand up. I will kill you. I will destroy your family. Say shut up. Get out. What do we get? This? Get out from there. Why are you talking like that? Because you know that you are coming on the plane of the victory that Jesus secured. So I don't need to feel anything to cast out devils. When I show up, I know there is a legality in the spirit realm. When I come, I invoke that legality. Colossians 2.14, having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a public show of them, triumphing over them by the cross. So when Jesus hung on the cross, he smashed Satan. He smashed him. That's why I quoted for you already. Hebrews 2, 14 and 15. For as much then as the children were partakers of flesh and blood, himself likewise took part of the same, that he through death might destroy him that has power over death, even the devil. So in his death, he destroyed Satan. All the demons of hell gathered together and they thought they've got him where they wanted when the time was right. He said, if that same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead. So the Holy Ghost went to work. Hiya. You know, on the cross, Jesus said, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani, my God and my God. Why have you said, for, forsaken me? Because the Holy Ghost withdrew. But after the third day, the spirit of glory mantled him again. And from the hair, the pit of hell, he stood up and he didn't stand up as a lamb. That went to the slaughter he stood up as the king of glory that's why when he appeared to his apostles he said all hail the king all power in heaven and on earth has been given to me it's on the strength of that power that he said in my name cast out devils in my name cast out devils don't advise them don't negotiate with them cast them out in my name said this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting he wasn't talking to you that was the position before the cross after the cross the whole requirement is faith in his name in my name cast out devils no matter which of them when you show up the moment you say in the name of Jesus they remember the battle that took place in hell they remember demons don't forget oh they don't forget they have photographic memory the moment Jesus showed up, they said, why have you come before your time? So they are keepers of records. That's why some of them are called familiar spirits. They can tell you the record of your great-grandfather. So if they don't forget record, they will also not forget their defeat. So every time you come, 
they are thinking you are coming in the name of an apostle they think you are coming in the name of a prayer warrior they think you are coming in the name of a fasting machine so when you show up you put your prayer aside put your title aside put your fasting and you say in the name of jesus said in Philippians 2 verse 8 that he was nailed to the cross and died the death of a criminal. Immediately he said because of this God gave him a name that is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. People struggle with demons because they don't know the death of Jesus. Satan was crushed. The head of the serpent was bruised. And every one of us. See, using the name of Jesus is a right. Oh? Only for those who are born of God. Only for us. That's why it's a ticket. Just like you buy a ticket to go watch a football match. You don't beg to enter. Come on, open the door. This is my ticket. It doesn't matter the size of the bouncer. The moment you show the ticket, it will give way. That's how we deal with demons. When they show up, you say, in the name of Jesus, get out. When they, they, they delay you, you, you get holy vexation. Come on, get out from there. <laughs> Somebody shout! Sit down for a moment. Let me round up. See, this is the foundation of the faith. Everything we do, there is a basis. But many don't know. They are going to deal with demons and they carry their own works as the advantage. Hey, you will suffer. How many people cast out devils in the Old Testament? Did you fast more than, do you fast more than them? Do you pray more than them? The technology of casting out devils, I'm not talking exorcism now, when you cooperate with one demon to interact with another demon, to exercise full authority over demons unapologetically as a show of kingdom dominion began after the resurrection Jesus did it and when he died we got the right to also do it and oh how the apostles love to cast out demons that's why when Luke was writing he said the acts of the apostles they were acting dimensions acting people like Paul didn't even need to say in the name of Jesus anymore they sent handkerchief when the demons see they will know this handkerchief came from somebody that carried Jesus. And handkerchiefs were casting out devils. If the handkerchief of Paul is casting out devils and you are struggling to cast out devils, you that carry the Holy Ghost, then you don't have, you don't know truth. Don't exhort devils. And I know the place of principalities and I will explain it to you. Because there's a place where we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We cast out devils because they don't have the right to possess men. They are disembodied beings. So when you come, you, you exercise dominion. Glory to God. Ah, we can't go far. You know, these things are sweet. So sometimes when you are explaining them, you charge. <laughs> they think we touch you small. When I started doing international ministry, you want to travel to some nations, they tell you, my brother, that nation you are going, hope you are prepared. The demons there, no joke. Oh. I say, there are no different demons anywhere. All of them were defeated by Jesus. And I'm going in the name of Jesus. Jesus is not only Lord in Nigeria. He's Lord in all the nations and in all the generations. 